Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. Invite PCA. Nate 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord. Link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. So there's a trailer for uh, Rescue Rangers. And um, there's all over Twitter because it's the, it's the, the whole plot is insane. Mm-hmm. It's utterly insane. You think when I heard like Rescue Rangers, oh, it's going to be live action oh, with, with cartoon characters. Oh, okay. It's going to be like the show. They're going to have to, some, a, a dog gets kidnapped and they have to go rescue it and right. fat, fat cats in it. And no, none of that. No. Nope. What, what, what would you never think with the franchise like Rescue Rangers? They going to turn the show that it was an actual, like a show, like a TV show. And they're going to try to reboot it and remake it. You know? And and it's a fourth wall breaking meta film. Yeah. No, it, it is in the world of like, 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 remember the movie Roger Rabbit like that? Where cartoons mm-hmm. and humans exist. That's not what... what and Roger is. Rabbit's in yeah. this. So, are th- so these two films in the same world? Yep. But, but why Rescue Rangers of all things? And, and of all the Disney things they could have picked. Why? Why that? So, but Rescue Rangers has crossed over with, most of the new the new Ducktales. So if that's true, then Ducktales is real. So is Duckburg a real place in the real world, or is it like? But if it's part of Toon World, Toon world is that a world in a land in Toon World? But there's a crossover because cartoons come to go work in Hollywood. So was Rescue Rangers a real thing, or was Rescue Rangers a, a TV show? show? Yeah. I think it was a TV show because the way. Everyone's acting in the trailer when they see them is like they're celebrities. But the the premise is false because I grew up watching Rescue Rangers. I thought it was pretty fun, but they're making it sound like it was the Ninja Turtles, like it was a phenomenon, like Ninja Turtles was huge. Right, right. Rescue Rangers was eh, just so a show so. that was on. It wasn't even the biggest show on that block. It it's, was Ducktales. It was, it's it's right there. You know, when I think of R- Rescue Rangers, I think of like Ducktales and Gummy uh, t- Bears, Tailspin, Tailspin, stuff like that. Where you, you know the. But it's definitely the bottom tier of those films, those shows. Yeah. So what's this false narrative that they were on top of the world? And then I do the one thing. I, the one thing I do like about it is they showed like the Nintendo game. Mm-hmm. Like they have like a collection of Chippendale stuff. So, but what about all the other cartoons they did with Donald Duck? Were they just actors doing those little shorts? Remember, like Donald would go to work and they would f up their his job like all the time. Right. I guess. Remember the one where he was like the apple picker, and he had the little cutter thing in his little like like a face. But I like the one where uh, they had that, that little model village and then Donald had them like living there. And then, but then he started getting with them. Like he started making day, night, day, night. And what makes that whole episode funny is Chip and Dale assumed the roles of husband and wife. Like Dale would go to work and then Chip would be on the apron. It's like, what are you guys doing? So was that a TV show they acted in? Yes. Or did those things ever happen? And those those are a TV show because the way because remember Roger Rabbit the way you get hired he yeah the way he talked about Goofy was that it wasn't an actual thing you were watching he was acting yeah they were so, filming it yeah because the way he goes oh man the way Goofy can just make someone laugh like that is just so legendary so those aren't him being stupid oh, it's him acting him like. But one thing that brings this down is their voices. Just oh, yeah. Nothing. Yes, yes. Like, they have regular sounding people voices and not the squeaky kind of voices that we're used to them having. Yes. The, the Hearing Andy Dale. Sandberg's voice and I see the, the, the them and it th- th- doesn't make sense. And what makes me mad at Disney, you know you can find people to make them sound like that. But, but, but even in the Alvin and Chipmunks movies, they sounded like the Chipmunks. chipmunks. Because everyone would have thought it would have been weird. For them to have they, normal people, people voices. voices. And then... Um, Where's Gadget in all this? Do you think she's the villain in this? She might be. That would. Oh, make you sense. stupid mint boys, and then you think things you know that shows all about you. But it was he, me that he, saved the day all the time, and I never got the accolades I wanted. Because there's there's actually in Russia there's I a know. religion for Gadget. Yes. There's a religion, like a full blown religion. Do you think they bring that? Since they're bringing everything's meta, they're gonna bring that up. They're gonna bring that up. They're gonna. I, I oh, I guarantee they I will. I wouldn't put it past them that Gadget is the bad guy because you see everyone. You see. You the, don't see her. You see the fly. You see Monster Zip. Jack. Um, you see both of them, but you have not seen one little sure. inkling. She's there. She doesn't speak or anything like during like, oh, during the, but it all came crashing down. Right. It just starts off like a Inside Hollywood you thing. Know, you know what it almost feels like? It feels like, um, kind of like the Scooby-Doo thing that they did. Yeah. Where like, I could totally see how Scrappy was the bad guy. Totally could see that Gatch Gatch is the bad guy. Bad. I'm calling it now. Yeah. Give me my 10 bucks. Yeah, I know, right? And then you, uh, yeah, I know, right? Why well, have to go see this? 
But then they also make like the cheese that Martin Jack eats like it's addictive. Like, yeah, because that was like a thing that like, he'd go over the top. In the cartoon, that's what he would do. But it's like a real thing and it's like an opium den. Yes. But for cheese. Guys, who the fuck is this for? I, I have no idea. Who? who? Original fans me, are going to hate it. Me who grew up with it? Then Not then me. we see a bunch of other cartoons. We even see like an anime person. Walking around. There. And then we see the My Little Ponies. They look awful. And then you see, like, at the very end, is that supposed to be Fat Cat? Was it? I didn't even Maybe. think about it. it. We see Scrooge. He has, like, real gold. Right, and then you see some really bad CGI characters they make fun of. Oh, remember the time when CGI looked real but not real? Remember, like, uh, Monster House. And Polar Express. Polar Express, uh, the, the Christmas Carol. Like, they're making fun of it. Like, they're making fun of it. You're not even looking at me. Yes, I am. Look at my eyes. My cold, dead eyes. Oh, remember that joke? I, d- and I then don't. The, and the whole other joke where, like, if cartoons stay 2D, it's like your original, but then, you know, if you go 3D, it's like a facelift. But they're not 2D, though. I they know. still have, like, a weird cell shaded 3D. Why couldn't they just look 2D? I know. They could have. It would have been easy. But I guess, like, the joke they're going for, and it's, like, falling flat. Like, I don't find it funny. It's like, oh, the celebrity who got Botox. Of all series to do this, like, you were saying, even though it's, it's owned by a different company, like Animaniacs makes way more sense. To do something like this. this. Not, 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 uh, not Chip and Nail. Animaniacs, uh, Tiny Toons would have made yeah. way more sense. Because they were all about the, the, the culture. They did own. meta jokes where they yes. make fun of Steven Spielberg, and even though it was the one who produced it, right. and they're making fun of the writers in the writer's room, and having to censor things and edit stuff. They made jokes like and that. And they made jokes where like, they would try to go to these bigger parties, but since they're Tiny Toons, they get kicked out or whatever. So they did do jokes like that. But not Rescue Rangers. No. It's so weird that they chose this property to tell this type of story. And I don't know. If you really are excited for this and you really think it's funny and everything. I don't, well, I don't I think, know. I think, I think according to the tra- uh, trailer, it's only going to be streaming. So Yeah, I will say on Disney Plus. I guess I'll watch it. The plot is Gadget's the, enemy, the bad guy. Yes, I guarantee I, I, it. I would bet money. Oh, you it. stupid boys. And I do like the fact that even in the show, they were both kind of vying for her attention. Right. Even though she never really, like, she was too busy in building machines and stuff. She didn't even really even recognize that they liked her. Like, she didn't even think about it. Right. But, like, I wonder if that's going to come up. It could. It could. Um, I, I just want them to bring up the cloud. Well, they brought up a little bit with Chip, because Chip is based off of Indiana Jones. The yeah. The way he looks, the way he tries to The act. jacket and the hat. They never bring up the fact that technically Dale is based off of Magnum P.I. Yeah, he is. He is. He's um, the Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, he's the mustache. I can't remember his name now. Um, Tom Selleck. Tom Selleck. He's that character. Yeah. So he's kind of more like the laid back, but he gets things done. He's a detective. So I'm like, please bring that up because that would be the one reference that everyone should know is that he's based off of Magnum PI. Yeah. I, I and here's the thing. Okay, you make references to the show. I'll get it. Me and the five other people that remember Rescue Rangers, but this isn't like some again. Like I said, this is not like the Ninja Turtles. Everyone remembers the Ninja Turtles. My mom remembers the Ninja Turtles, okay? Right. Everyone. But but if I brought this up to to my mom, she'd be like, "Well, yeah, that's Chip and Dale." But I like she wouldn't know Rescue Ranger. It wasn't this phenomenon. Well, well, she would remember Chip and Dale as from like the original, the original shorts, like Donald Duck and yeah. all that. Right. Not not, not and, necessarily the TV show. And maybe even mix them up with um, the Chipmunks album, the Chipmunks. Yeah. Because there's that record from the Christmas, the you know. Yeah. Uh, here's the, I I don't know. I don't know what to think. Because if I was forced to tell the story, I can tell the story. Stop with all the meta stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. it dates your film. It, it's only funny in the moment. And even in that moment, it's more of a, <laughs> not a, a, not a laugh your butt off. It's more like a, oh yeah, I remember some of those old CGI films. It's a cheap joke that only lasts, it's fleeting. It's, it's not fleeting. something that doesn't yeah. last long. It's like when you put a pop song in your movie and that pop song is already a year and a half old by the time your movie comes out. I'm looking at you, robots, and it's not funny, and I can't believe people think it's funny, and, and that's what this it whole was, film is. It was Crimson. Oh, yeah, let's bring up the Britney Spears song that comes out of nowhere that was already old. Oh, like a year old by the time that some movie came out. Or the same. Also, every time you say that, when movies date themselves with songs, I think of the, the annual Garfield Spider-Man movies are like that, too. Yeah. Date themselves really bad, those bad pop songs are really bad. But the song is popular. Put it on the movie. No one's thinking about longevity. This is going to be an experience. <laughs> I'm not, not good or bad. It's going to be a trip. And I don't know if I'm going to enjoy where I end up at the end of it. 
And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like well, it. Well, especially if you're a fan of this original. I can but, but, oh, let's make funny, stupid jokes. Let's make funny, stupid jokes. How long can I get make, let's make funny, stupid jokes? Where there's no substance. It's just yeah. all stu- funny, stupid jokes. Yeah, nonstop. Nonstop, yeah. That's I don't know. True. Sounds like it's going to be, be a real quite loser. the ride. Yeah, it's going to be quite the ride. And with uh, Monterey Jack uh, losing all his money to cheese, like a drug addiction. Remember how celebrities get addicted to drugs? But this time it's cheese. That's how I feel the pitches went. Almost, almost. You, you know how have... celebrities get uh, uh, work done and get boob jobs and stuff, but what if cartoons went CGI and that's like their boob job? <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like the pitch mini for Lower Decks. It's that same kind of toilet Well, humor. what if you did this? <laughs> Could you imagine the jokes that didn't make it into the movie? Yeah, what, what got cut? What's on the cutting room floor? The worst film ever made. <laughs> right. Oh, jeez. Ed, Wo- Ed Wood wouldn't show this. I don't know. And again, I'm a huge. I love My Little Pony, like the gener the 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 the, the newest one that they showed the movie was just okay. But then that weird CGI, they're like weird looking. Their eyeballs are yeah, because it's orange pony. <laughs> yeah, who the hell's that orange pony? They ain't Applejack, because because you see the cowboy hat, so the Applejack's in the background. Who the hell's that one? That, it looks so stupid. But um, I don't know. Like you need no fat cat. Is fat cat gonna be real? Is it going to be Garfield? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I get is his... Garfield going to walk in? I don't know. I don't know. Ugh, what, Disney. This is not the movie where I wanted this to happen in. Yeah. You could have made this Disney meta movie. Just make Who Frame Roger Rabbit Part 2. Yeah. Which would have made a lot more sense. And then you can have a Chip and Dale cameo. Yeah. There you go. Solves all that problem. <laughs> I, I don't know why they frontlined it with Rescue Rangers. You can even do a tie-in with like them being main characters by... Literally having someone hire the rescue rangers to go find Roger. Uh, Roger yeah, like Rabbit. like uh, you have a. Uh, there you go. You have Eddie Valiant. Uh, you know, uh, maybe like a cousin, like a like a little cousin. I looked up to him, and he's gonna be the next big cartoon detective. And, he needs help. and then there you go, and it's his Roger Who Frame Roger Rabbit Part Two. Yeah, and I have to they, live up to my uh, my 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 uncle's legacy or yeah. something. Yeah, right. And then he gets help from the rescuers because the they rescue rangers with, and they were in. They, they work with animals. And yeah. Since technically he's a he's a bunny. So you know, would you say a much better story <laughs> that would be more fun to watch than this? But what if he's addicted to cheese? <laughs> what if we have these really old dated jokes that we keep bringing back up? <laughs> what if and Andy Samberg sounds so weird coming out of the mouth of a chipmunk? <laughs> well, that's not funny. And then Seth Rogen, does he have to be in everything? Yes, he My does. My goodness, I do not like the man. I'm and, sorry, I don't. He, he must be in everything, everything. I know. It's not funny. He's not. He's not a funny guy. I don't know, but this this thing is just looks weird. It's gonna be so weird. And Very like I said, uh, Gad just the the bad guy, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they would showed her. Yeah, yeah. Because she would have been on the team. All oh, you stupid boys, and she's the one solving all the crimes and everything. It's gonna be like the ending, like where. Uh, remember how in Sky High the one pretty girl was the bad guy because yeah. she got turned younger right and she was the nerd but back then that was not the right technology thing. wasn't caught up with her power it makes more sense now than it did back, back then. then so but yeah it's going to be like that it was really me the whole time I kept solving the, all the things but it was your names were on the cover but not my name yeah except for that stupid group in Russia that so for some reason worships me did I, I, did I call one of the jokes did, you actually did, I, did I call the joke well, yeah, of either, course you I've did. done it a few times now. Either, even if it's not a joke, could you imagine if that's her henchman? Yeah. Is that religion? That, that, that religion of uh, Gadget? Yeah. There's times when we will watch some of our reviews of some of these bad shows, and Crimson will actually literally get the joke word for word. Word for word. Not only just not get the joke, but get it word for word. We yeah, that, like that, three, four like, times. And I do it a lot in Lower Decks because yeah. the, the, the jokes are so easy. Oh, I'm like, oh, he's not evil. He just has a, that's how he laughs. And he goes, oh, sorry if I sound evil. I just laughed that way. I'm like, oh my God, I just said that. Yeah. Because I know that was what the joke was. And I feel like this this movie in particular is going to have a lot of that. Yeah. You'll see it a mile away. Yeah. It, oh, here comes the pitch. And oh, out of the park. Yeah. Because yep. think about it. Because at this point, even if you don't even guess Gadget, who's the freaking villain? Do What's they, going on? Do they, do they make fun of the fact of their voices? I hate it. They made their voices sound like that in the cartoon. Oh, that was so stupid. Well, yeah, I bet I, you yeah, do that, that too. That could be another one. That could be another one. Um, well, they tell you our voices. We were so squeaky high, it sounded stupid. They right. made us like uh, take helium balloons before we spoke, so it would make us sound all stupid. Yeah, and they'll probably blame it on Alvin the Chipmunks or yeah. something. Yeah. But there is a new uh, Chippendale cartoon on Disney+. Hmm. They're like shorts. They're like, the you know all the new uh, Mickey cartoons? Yeah. It's done in that kind of animation. Oh, cool. But it's done like that. So are they making fun of that now? That, that 
I, I don't know. I don't know what, what Disney maybe, wants to accomplish with this. Maybe that's the tie-in. Maybe they're going to say, well, because of this movie, now they get to have their TV show again. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What a mess. What a disaster. What an actual disaster of a storyline this is. Why? Why? That's why? all I got to say. Why? Of all characters, he did see, this. See, and this is why I sit there and say, Disney, sometimes <laughs> it's not great to remake things. Just leave them. They even say that in the, the trailer. No one, oh, let's do a reboot. Nobody wants a reboot. Yeah, I know. Delete this film. Right, because no, because you do, because you do stupid this happens. shit like but that's, a, that's happens. another joke, though. Isn't that supposed to be funny, Mike? That's meta. <laughs> it's meta. Meta, yeah, I know, right? Oh, you know, I'm going to be like every other cartoon reviewer out there and be like, oh, this looks so amazing. Disney Plus, please send me things. No, I'm never going to do that. Invite me to D23. Please, Disney, please. Screw that. I don't care if I ever get anything. I got a few invites from like little things. Like little games, like little indie games and stuff. People are like, oh, please talk about my game. But I don't like doing that kind of stuff because I don't want to be bought. I don't want to say, oh, they have to, uh, there needs to be no restrictions on what I say. But once you start doing that, they stop sending you things. Yeah, right. right. But that's how it works. That's, yeah, I'm not playing your game. So, so if anyone gets an early review of something, they were paid to do it. Yep. So yeah. you met that one guy with the, with the thumbnail where he's going, oh, about this trailer. He was paid to say all those things. Just, yep. just letting you guys know that. That's, that's I would how it works. never do that. But um, yeah, this looks dumb. If dumb to trash fire. I hope it's just stupid fun, <laughs> where I can just turn my brain off and be high and just be. St- that's how you have to be to enjoy this. <laughs> um, high as on a, cheese. As a, as a famous critic once said, uh, either high on the sugar of cereal or something higher, a little bit more than uh, that. But uh, that, that's what this is going to be. This is what this is gonna yeah, be. gosh, that's that's bad. That's your best case scenario. That's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, you can contact us on any of the social media platforms in the description down below. And while you're here, be sure to click on one of the videos over on the right.